So I discovered a really cool bitmap effect here in Photoshop by experimenting. Now these are black and white version, which got a total different outcome rather than the traditional. So let's take a look how to make this. So I'm going to roll with this image as a reference. And first I'm going to go to image and select image size. I'm going to decrease the size somewhere around 800. So it's going to have a decent small size. So we're going to have room for experimenting with bigger or smaller pixels. So let's click OK. And now let's go to the file, export and select save for web legacy. And from here, we're going to apply this really interesting dithering. So we're going to go to the GIF and let's change it to VBMP. Click on it and it's going to transform this image into a beautiful dithered image. Now, I also might say that you can go with the original classic GIF or GIF and you can create the same results. But the truth is that the black and white dithering on the GIF looks totally different. So it doesn't have this kind of pattern. So anyways, in order to adjust the dither, you can go here to the dither. Right now, as you can see, I'm on 85%. For me, this is perfect. But you can go and decrease it and check this out. It is going to add more contrast. Or if you decrease it to zero, it's going to create this threshold effect on max is going to add the more details. Now if you want to increase the size of the pixels, all you need to do is go here to the width and the height and I'm going to split the width in half and I'm going to go with 400, click somewhere here. You also can add the percentage so we scale down with 50% and if I zoom in you can see the pixelation is bigger. For example I can go here add 25% so it's going to scale it down to 200 and the pixel is going to be even bigger. And you can go back to the dither, adjust it, maybe add more details and test out how it's going to look. But I'm going to go back to 400. For the quality, I went with the Bicubic Sharper. You also can go with the nearest neighbor. And now let's click on Save. And I'm going to rename it Test1. Click on Save. And it's going to save the file into a WBM file. To be honest, I don't even know what's that, but we're going to need to open this and convert it into a JPEG. So we're going to drag and drop it back into Photoshop. And before saving it, we're also going to go to Image image size and we're going to need to scale it up first. For example, I'm going to go with 3000 and here at the resample, we're going to change it to nearest neighbor hard edges. Click OK and here we got it. And now if I go to file, save as and let's choose a format, you can see there is no JPEG. We got like PNG and other formats. So because of that, we're going to go back and go to the image mode and change it to grayscale. Click on it size ratio one, click OK. Let's do it again, file save as, and let's see what we got. And here we got the JPEG. Click on it and save. And that's how you make this really cool black and white dithered effect here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.